Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Anya Cass and welcome to Cooking with Plants. So today I actually want to announce my brand new course that I have just released, which is Meal Prep Made Easy. I know so many of you have emailed me and messaged me and requested help, help with stressful days, time management, getting things cooked quickly in the kitchen, being prepared ahead of time and cooking for fussy eaters. If you've got vegetarians, vegans and meat eaters in the same household, it can be really difficult. Um, sometimes just cooking for yourself or for a large family can be difficult. So I've got an amazing mix and match meal planner and loads of cooking hacks and downloads and tips and tricks and over five hours of video tutorials. There's about 29 videos that you can go through. But today I'm going to share one of those little quick videos with you. It's one of my favorite hacks for cooking pumpkin and I don't cook pumpkin any other way. So if you're interested in that course, I'll leave the links for that below. I would love to see you in the course. And if you have any questions at all, please leave your questions below or email me anytime that you like. And enjoy, enjoy this hack. And I really hope that it brings some, <laughs> some easy cooking goodness to your pumpkin cooking in the future. So watch the video and enjoy. So for the pumpkin, I normally line a baking tray, sometimes a round dish, glass dish I use as well, and I line it with non-stick parchment paper. And then, well, I've already washed this off, but I usually just get the whole pumpkin and give it a good wash off. And I don't peel it or anything. I just take the whole pumpkin and I don't cut it. How fantastic is that? Place it on the tray and then this just goes into a hot oven at about uh, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, around 200 degrees Celsius and just bake that for an hour and then check on it after an hour, see if it needs some more cooking and just adjust the time and keep checking it every 15 minutes or so. So depending on the size of your pumpkin and how hot your oven gets, I know some ovens cook a little bit faster than others, then um, yeah, just adjust your own time according to your pumpkin and your oven and you're good to go, no chopping, no chopping at all. So this is ready to bake. So this is my pumpkin hack, the whole pumpkin in the oven going to bake for about an hour to an hour and a half. So as you can see this pumpkin is now cooked and you'll notice sometimes too there's this juice that runs out and sometimes there's so much of it you can actually collect it and it's absolutely amazing to use for dressings or for pouring over potatoes if you want to bake some potatoes instead of oil but yeah I like to use it in salad dressings. So there you go, this is all ready to go. I've already, I poked this earlier, but you can see it's cooked. So you can just slice this up, pull the peel off it. So much easier than chopping a really hard pumpkin and trying to cut it into pieces. Really, really simple doing it this way. All right, so this pumpkin is done and let me just cut a wedge off here so you can see how easy this is. Look at that. Oops. Look at that. Pumpkin is cooked and delicious. So as you can see, I've just pulled this out of the oven and I've just cut it open. I'll just cut another piece so you can see how simple this is. And then you can just throw out those seeds. It's really easy just to get a spoon and throw them out and the rest of it just store it and the, the peel just comes off really really easily and then you can just break it up keep it in the fridge you can blend it do whatever it's done it's so easy pumpkin perfection so when I do my pumpkin I like to follow the lines of this middle section and just cut cut that open and then you can just put that in the freezer as a whole chunk let it cool and then dice it up or yeah use it for salads or you could pull the skin off it straight away and just put it in a container 
and I like to use that for smoothies either freeze it or um, I like to put into curries and also blend it up as pumpkin soup so it's really versatile and really quick and easy to do